They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties? There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, <laughs> enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break. Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fire. You, you asshole! Light another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. 
I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. Hello? I bless the rains down in Africa! This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Long memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. <sighs> There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <sighs> So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me.
Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. The place is trashed. Oh, I can't believe this shit. You hear anything yet? That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. 
You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? <laughs> Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, uh, hey, your he button idea. is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. <laughs> Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, 